good morning. Is the mic on? Yeah, I checked that out. Starting this day with a cone stuffing. Bruh, I'm not gonna bring this back up. But people keep telling there's some video of a dude. There's a YouTube video. You saw it, I'm sure. The YouTube video of the guy yes. passed. And yes, if you like this yes. a little bit, that makes sense. It's not what you really Well, then there's also the machine. <laughs> Have you seen the machine? Long ass machine. A hundred of them. The machine drops whatever tobacco or weed in, and the whole time it's shaking uh -huh. to pack it. So somebody was like, dude, I knew you were right. Look at this. A, a machine versus you? I am a machine, <laughs> yeah. dog. Yeah, like a fucking calculator that's broken. <laughs> We get out tomorrow should be fun. Oh, snowboarding? Yeah, I'm ready. Fucking so much better. <laughs> I thought because I was doing a lot more of those butters and shit like that and like getting more comfortable. Is now I just feel more comfortable in those positions. I feel I went off one of those jumps, dude, where you just send it and I fucking sent it. Like you know, it's probably uh, six inches. Look, if there's no footage, I don't want to hear it. Cause I've heard you come off of a jump. I've heard you, dude. I jumped so high on that jump that we go back and look at the footage, and it's like four inches. So I'm not. Well, if you're not, I'm not. I'm not going with your delusions of grandeur. Own... But we live in the internet age. You could have filmed yourself. I don't want to hear it. If you wanted to prove, I couldn't, cause Brandy would have come down the park with me. I get her to the top of the park, and she gets mad at me. But so, so they come to the maintenance yesterday? Yeah. And you're like, knocks, I like waking up and I'm about to leave and you know, knock on the door with the maintenance guy. I'm like, oh fuck, I was like, I forgot you guys were coming. And it looks in here, you need any lights? And I was like, no. Alright dog, have a good day. <laughs> I was like, see you later. Nice. What was He-Man's homeboy's name? Here's what I found on the web for what was He-Man's homeboy's name. Fuck it, this wicked Orko. What did I say? Orzo? Orzo. Orko is magician from the parallel dimensional world of Trolla. Orko's magical abilities vary depending on his location. On Eternia, Orko's magic does not work properly, and his spells frequently backfire with humorous results. I've never been to Eternia. While in contrast to the whole world of Trolla, it must be where you're from, <laughs> he is a master magician. Ooh, Sager's calling. It's like me. Hello. So this whole, I know it's like multi-platform now. Now I've also heard that now they're doing that with PUBG as well. Yeah. And that there's a PUBG mobile game. I gotta there's... download one of these mobile games because I cannot believe Why would you want to download one of them? Because I gotta see how bad it is. I just have to know. Like, I, 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 how can you play against professional gamers with the fastest PCs in the world from your fucking phone and think that it's gonna be fair. It almost makes it a joke, like I wouldn't want to be in a server with a bunch of kids on their phone. I feel like it would be a lot easier to collapse. Yeah, people try to join my team on their phone and I just kick them out. I'm like, sorry. Oh, it shows what device people are on it? Yeah. yeah. Certain shit I don't think can cross platform, like you can't, Xbox and PC can't play, or Xbox and PlayStation still can't play together. Yeah. But like PC to Xbox can play together, or PC to PlayStation, you know what I mean? One thing about Fortnite, like I don't, I still don't like the same shit. I don't like the movements. I don't like the building. I don't yeah. like the graphics. I think that they did a really good job building it. I think they did a good job all the reward systems and yeah. all the stuff that makes a game fun. They did great, but once you go back to PUBG and you actually fire a fucking M16 and you feel the recoil of the gun and shit, and you're yeah. like, oh yeah, I'm just like, it's a completely different thing. I just don't, I still don't love the way that it looks. I'm still hoping that one day you just, we just wake up and there's an update and the entire world has changed. To normal. Yeah. It's like, Dude. the trip is over. They're like, oh, that was a crazy ass trip. And then they jump out and they're like, just men again. Like, yeah. That's what I'm hoping. Trip. All right, we're going, I'm doing this all without GPS today oh, for you. Shit. It's not Market Street, it's the next one. It's this little Wazi. Second guessing yourself. Uh, yeah, oh God, this guy's throwing me off. No, we're following him. Go ahead there, bub. It's the second one. I've learned it. You have to too. Keep going. There it is. I, did we pass it? Oh my God. It's at 16th. This is 16th. This is the mall by the weed place. Yeah, you went the wrong way. It's at market. You took God the way to the weed it. place instead of the haircut place, per usual. I knew it. I get my haircut because it's been like fucking forever. And you're running back to the shop. So we've been, this week's been all crazy. Yesterday I didn't vlog because I had all kinds of personal shit going on. But today and this week, we were supposed to drop these Holy Cry shirts today. It was going to be like a surprise drop, but now we're basically not ready. And we needed hoodies and we had to deal with getting the right hoodies and all these crazy things. So, uh. Uh, yeah, now it's gonna be Sunday. But we're running around trying to get everything ready today to make sure that it all works out. And an electric peach restock, which has been caught that monitor. Y'all gonna run up and grab that monitor, bitch. You just passed it, dog. Yeah, so we're we're doing a lot of running around today, and I got this haircut. All right, so you're not even coming in. I guess not. All right, cause I'll see you later. Peace. You got batteries, bitch? No, cause they're both charging. Oh, you didn't grab any of them? No, because they were they were both dead. All right. 
All right, haircut. Whoa, haircut has been had. Downtown Denver. Earn dipped out, so I gotta call a fucking Uber and go home and get Omar. Back on the block. We're gonna get a sandwich from the angry vegan. Hey, look who it is. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What are we doing? What we got? Nope, nope, nope. We're gonna just step all this stuff. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, oh, get a You got fuzzies everywhere. Oh, get it. Get it. Get it, you're so close. Oh, you're so close, Lamar. Lamar, get it. Lamar, go get it. Oh, oh this side. There you go. Get it. Oh. No. Hey, no. <laughs> Crap. Omar. What the fuck? Dude, I was gone for like an hour. Nuts. You're nuts. You don't have any nuts, but you're still crazy as shit. <sighs> All right, so I did a thing. So I kind of have to do a thing often. So backstory here. I had to rip off my toenail on my big toe this morning. Um, it's pretty gross. It's like definitely gross. I'm kind of used to it though, cause I've had to pull it off. So when I was younger, I had my mom bought me a pair of skate shoes. This is what I think. My mom bought me a pair of skate shoes that didn't fit. Uh, I think wearing the wrong size shoes when I was a kid by force. Uh, <laughs> sorry, mom. Um, but yeah, so my big toe is jacked today, and trying to walk around get shit done was pretty much impossible. I, it does not feel good. It's not awful. Like I can deal with it. It's not like the worst, but it does not feel good at all today. I'm not gonna show you because that's just not. I wouldn't want to see it. I don't want. Yeah, I'm not showing you. But let's just say my toenail is completely gone on my big toe, um, and I'm just kind of waiting. Like so, the holy happy cry drop is now Sunday. It was gonna be a surprise drop today. Things weren't done in time. Everything's sort of just like coming together at the same time. So there's going to be a drop on Sunday now that'll have the holy happy cry uh, design. It's a couple different colors, white, black, purple, short sleeve, long sleeve, and then there's a blue hoodie. Um, and then this weekend we'll also be restocking like the olive green shirts electric peach some other stuff i'll keep you guys updated as well as make sure that the pre-order gets out in time and just you know balancing everything we're doing our best ah these shoes off one room down high beast house cleaning dog Okay, the only flight has to be worth it. It's true. It, I'm I gotta take you off the back. Make sure you get the hoodie. Hey, Omar. 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 Let's see what this weed's all about. That's yeah. Right. Oh. No, okay, so let me explain what happened. You sent me an extra because I got you five grams of wax because they had this fucking four gram jar. They said this super silver haze is like the best sativa they've had and they'll just open it. But this Jesus is the best. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so I was like, Teddy, I'll give him the phone. Yeah, I mean, whatever. You're going to smoke through it, so. Yeah, it's not going to be like, this is a waste. Uh, gone. Now, you know what else is, what, bitch? What you just did, though, is I'm just going to smoke four grams this week. I'm gonna smoke five grams this week instead of two. Well. Because it's not like I'm going to slow down. That's true. So I owe you some money. Hey! I owe you about seven. I owe you 70. I just needed to make sure I had the money for that, so I'm gonna pay pal you back 70. You got me fucked up, dog. No, because- Are you doing my dishes? <laughs> she automatically just does dishes. Nicole, she starts doing the dishes. I should have waited to mop before you got here. I just like mopped and did all kinds of shit. You should have. Should have. Two monsters, and I got you a can of fucking Coke. Did you so do a line of Coke today? No. No, but the lady in front of me on fucking line at the gas station is talking to herself. She was definitely on Maybe Coke a or meth. Just got on here. So I think it did. All right. Well, I'm going back down. Okay, see you in a second. Where's your Mary's medicinal? She's all oh. into like massage. Somebody, Ooh. somebody, come get your boy. Right now, I'm getting him. Why? Why? You are fucking turnt right now. I need my car keys. I need my car keys. Hold on. I don't even know where they are. Dude. 
I think someone switched up your fucking sugar with an eight ball this morning. Then I still gotta get to the shop. And <laughs> the brain, he's gotta get all these pictures so we can fucking get them up. We'll smoke this. We'll go out. We'll take pictures. We'll shoot your own feet, and then I guess we'll. We're going hmm. to the mountain tomorrow. Huh? Huh? We're going to the mountain tomorrow. Oh, that's the plan. Yeah. yeah. Got my toenail off yesterday, so it's got me no. that comfortable. Oh yeah, it's all the way off. It's fucking gnarly. Yeah, it's super Was it gnarly. in your shoe? No, it's like my toenails are fucked up from when I was a kid. Like my two big toes, my mom fucked my feet up basically, long story short. It basically grows two nails. Okay. And my blood fills up in between and then I can literally like see the nail move. I can like push it, but it still connects to the other nail. So I have to like pull it off. It hurts like a bitch, but as soon as I pull it off, it's like. It feels better. Yeah, it's like, like no oh pressure, my God. right? Look at this thing. What, a Coca-Cola? In a can. 20 ounce. 20 ounce. Is this, a, is this a new thing? I don't know, no, I'm just saying. It's cool. How do you do? Well, there you go. It's random. Cool. We do my shoe collection, we'll sell oh, you yeah, shoes. Oh yeah, you your 40. I you know. The they should be at the shop right now. 40 pairs, Ultra Boost Lux. Y'all can hate on it. I got it for a buck ten. Shout out to Cincinnati Souls. That's it. Because I love those shoes anyway. And I've been liking them. And then when he hit There's me with that. Yeah. Also, Cassie Benita tonight. Have fun, dipshit. I'm not going. Come on. No. I, first off, I have work to do. Second off, I'm, like, I'm not going to Casa Benita. All right, all right. Just because you like to torture your fucking friends. When my friends come to town, I take them to nice restaurants. Well, we're going to fucking to Chow, too. Okay. Why can't you go to all nice restaurants? Why didn't you go fucking? Why don't you make her something to eat instead of. We are. Like, you're going to give her a stomach. I'm, gonna, I'm making dinner. Your favorite ball. I need this company to send. Like a thousand of these. Omar loves this shit. Not but that crazy boy. Feeling better? You got another week of healing time though, don't you? Mentally, you're stable and you are fine. Physically, you are stitched in your dick. I've let you go too far, sir. This is insanity. You have stuffing everywhere. I know some of you probably think that this is the same stuffing. No, sir. Ma'am. No ma'am, no sir. These are new stuffings. Omar destroys everything. You have left the shoes alone. Ah, stretch of glory, I see. Do you want to take this out of here, please? This is my room. The bedroom is in shambles still, so why don't you go there? You pondering? Omar. My good sir. My friend. My comrade, my baby. Will you leave this room? Take it on. Come on. Take it outside. I can't reach it. Omar, I can't reach it. You know, you're really blowing it right now, dude. You could show everybody how talented you are. Uh, no. We're just doing this instead. No, yeah, now you want to move. Come on. Out. Leave it out there, sir. Go into your playhouse. <laughs> Go into your playhouse. Take it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I think it's a game. here shout out to natty rims all right so as far as shoes go uh human races i've all come in all the colors i actually have multiples of some and, uh speaking of which i don't know if i said that we're doing so for this drop that is on sunday one person gets a golden ticket and inside the box you'll have a gold you'll have a golden ticket um i'll buy you whichever pair out of the holy pack that you want uh in your size so Good luck. I wore the black pair for some of today. I haven't worn shoes that much today. This is the black pair. Oh, hey. Here. 
But real quick, the shoe itself, I'm just gonna, cause I'm gonna go deep on the meaning of the shoe, cause I've been pondering it so much. Obviously all black upper, uh, lettering is all stitched in, unlike the previous. Um, I just grabbed this one, but this one's also stitched in. But there's, there's other pairs from the last drop that are not. You know, that friends and family plum color, brick cage and lace set, which is really cool. It comes with another set of laces that are black, I do believe. And then, you know, regular Pharrell things. You know, everything's normal Pharrell except for the trail. A lot of people are surprised about how heavy the shoe is. It's definitely way heavier, com heavier compared to like the OG human race for sure. Um, and then there's also other differences. One of those main differences being the boost, I feel like. The boost and the old boost is just like regular, regular boost. I feel as if this new boost has like a fish scale sort of pattern in it. I don't know how well the camera picks it up. I don't know if it's constructed differently. I don't have really any clue. It feels just a little bit squishier. In the heel especially. Yeah, it just feels like, even compared to those, it's just a little, not bad, not like it's too soft or anything, just a little bit. And I could be just tripping, I don't know. But it's definitely got a fish scale pattern, which some like EQTs have, some EQTs and other models, but I don't think I've seen a Pharrell with it yet. And then your regular stuff, like Adidas Trefo branding, Pharrell branding, your legit check marker, for those of you that don't know, usually this is where they fuck up. One of the spots they fuck up, stitching they fuck up too. Holly color pattern on the inside. Holy, I've already, see I've gotten so confused as to how it's said that now I just say it different every single fucking time. My BBC pair is a 12 and a half and it fits like as snug as possible. Like it could not be any smaller. And then the pair they just sent me is also a 12 and a half and I have the same amount of room in the toe that I have on a regular 13. Like this. I do think that you can half size down in, but this one feels more like the regular ones. The black, this one feels so much more like the regular compared to the blank canvas and even the others. So I don't, I, I don't know. Like I still feel like you can half size down if you want, as long as you don't have a wide foot. Black knits just seem to be tighter sometimes. I, I really don't know how, it, you know, I don't know because then it's not black on the inside. Crazy about your fit. If you're not like crazy, if it doesn't have to be like perfect, I don't think getting your true size, you're going to you're gonna bug out and be like, damn, these are just flying off my feet because I don't find that to be true either. But I also think other people's, I think people's feet and preferences are just different. All right, so now, now I wanna get down into it. You know what I'm saying? Now, Ern stole my fucking lighter. God damn it. Call Dirty Ern on speaker. Calling Dirty Ern on speaker. Your call has been- Always, always goes a voicemail first time. Call Dirty Ern on speaker. Calling Dirty Ern on speaker. Hello, sir. Yo. Hi. What up? Is there a yellow lighter in your pocket? Um, no. There's really not. Hold on. There's not, dude. I didn't take it. I didn't. Why do you have no lighter? Oh, I have no lighter and my yellow lighter is gone. And you lit the joint. Check your hoodie pocket. I didn't have a hoodie on. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. I literally my sweatpants and, and I didn't take anything. I'll look in the car when I get in the car mm -hmm. if I have to my pocket. We'll have to update. Are we on camera? Yeah, we are. we're definitely on camera. <laughs> it's not here. You definitely have it. I, I think, I don't know. All right, so let's get into the shoe. All right, I'm just gonna preface this. I'm going super deep, looking way into this, looking way into this. I'll most likely pronounce things wrong. It's not on purpose, I'm trying. Yeah, yeah. All right, so when you compare the uh, two shoes together, you have, uh, well, the black and the white. This is your companion pair, so the equality, and then, you know, Hindi for equality as well. That's your companion, because these two shoes match. And this pair is just blank, canvas, just white. Nothing on the inside, just white. And then you have the other shoe, the black, the other, you know, the right shoe, which is World. And then you have Hindi for World, which is, I'm gonna get this wrong, I'm sure, which is Sansar, S-A-N-S, AAR, I do believe. Which I guess now it's been explained to me most of the, that it's not really, doesn't have the same meaning that it used to have and that it just does sort of mean world and that the, the idea of the pair is, you know, equal world, which I get completely. The, I guess the root of the word, and again, I may be completely wrong. I, I am in no way trying to be disrespectful. So if I get it wrong, let's talk about it because I'm really just interested in looking at this from like an artistic standpoint completely. Sansar being this 
you know, older word, and then in, in religion, sort of having a negative connotation, like material world. And the way that it's been explained to me is sort of, you're urged to abandon the material world. You're, you're urged to not give in to Sansar. You know, that all of these things are temporary, and it's not like real life, it's not real energy. When I got that, I was like, what the fuck? Which makes it kind of seem like they didn't do their research, like Pharrell didn't do their research. Pharrell doesn't strike me as like a non-thorough person. So I just, I just started thinking about it. And then there being the color on the inside kind of plays into the whole thing as well to me because it's black on the outside, you know, black also being the reflection of all colors and the black just being this humongous contrast and then there's all this color you know all it's what you know basically uh it's what's on the inside you know all of these other shoes all the other from the pack are splashed on the outside with it's external you know it's uh it washes off gets dirty uh, and this is on the inside and uh this is your possession this is like what makes you up who you are the material world root of the whole thing and some crazy since twist of irony in my head makes it seem like all of the material world stuff getting a grasp on material objects and you know you know i have acknowledging it like i feel very fortunate that i'm able to do this i also don't like to feel like the material objects make me if i had to walk outside and flex and flip flops then it's flex and flip flops as an art idea and as a collection it's a cool thing to me and i may have made this whole story up you know so basically i feel like this shoe is sort of like the sort of ties the whole collection together and you, yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's cool. And I don't know if that's even what they were going for. And a few people that I've talked to think I'm going like so deep with it. Ah, uh, yeah, that's just kind of how I see it. I think, I think that's, I think that's cool. I don't know. I'd like to have a conversation with Pharrell or somebody who knows more than me. Cause I don't know. It's like, I feel like a dude in a museum staring at a painting and people are like, Oh, it's a tomato. And I'm like, no, it's not a tomato, sir. No, sir. It is not. Yep. These are not tomatoes. These are shoes. And uh, that is the Pharrell, I guess the black pair. I don't know. World quality. Boom, boom, boom. All right. There they are. We're supposed to go snowboarding tomorrow. It's me and me and Sager's new plan for business meetings because it's an hour and a half drive and we can ride together and kind of talk on the lift about plans. So tomorrow morning, we're supposed to go snowboarding. My toe is going to feel awful in a snowboard boot. I'm just going to go ahead and say it now that I'm complaining a lot, but ball is life. Boom.